Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. In this video, we're going to tie the Peacock Paragon, and we're going to use the Uni Mylar Peacock orange tinsel. And it makes a really nice body on a on a Paragon. And at least for the time being, it's not in such short supply that you have to scramble to find it. <clears throat> so, first things first, we're going to start with our thread. I've got an Umqua pair to jig hook on in the vise and a slotted tungsten bead. Obviously change the color of the bead to your preference. And I've got 12 out olive thread. We're going to do a tail of Cock de Leon. You don't need a lot of fibers. Keep it fairly thin. And I want my tail to be maybe about the length of the hook shank. Can make that just a tad shorter, but probably doesn't really matter. There we go. Okay. Take out our excess. I'll tie my <clears throat> tie in the tinsel. This comes in a few different widths. This is the 169th. This is a bigger hook, size 12, so you could probably tie with the 132nds here and save yourself a little bit of time wrapping the tinsel, but I'm just going to add a little bit of taper to the fly. Okay. Now we'll leave our, our thread up behind the bead. And then we can wrap our tinsel. Just try to make tight wraps. Keep your ten tension on. If you let go a little bit, it wants to spiral back really quickly. Okay, then we get to our thread. Let's maintain that tension. Tie off. Then we can trim out our excess. Now I'll just do a half hitch or two. I trim out my thread. I have a bobbin with some 12 watt fluorescent orange thread. I just need a, a couple of wraps there, not much. finish. That makes our hot spot. And we'll trim out our, our thread. And left a little bit of a thread tag there. Got some of that. Okay. So now we can finish the fly with our UV resin and we just need a little bit of bone dry plus. It doesn't take much. Spin that. And then we can finish with a little bit of black. Add a 
pat a little bit more since soaked into the bead a little bit. Oops. And that was clear I put on there. We'll add a little more black. go. Obviously just a paragon, but showcasing a, t a type of tinsel that maybe isn't quite as hard to come by as some of the other iridescent green tinsels. And definitely a, a proven color combination for paragons. So definitely tie some of these up. If you haven't filled your box with paragons already, this is a good place to start. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Thanks for watching.